Hello and welcome to this action of Game of Thrones. We are on season four, episode two, and the season opener kind of picked up where last season left off. It was a little like prelude of season four where they were, I think, getting rid of Ned Stark's sword. I want to say that two sword it was. I, I could have been Rob's, maybe. I don't know. The, the wolf pelt was there and it really pissed me off, but whatever is what it is. Tywin's a dick. But Jamie, Jamie seems to be a sh kind of shunned by his dad. And his sister now and a lot of political stuff going on and we saw area kind of turn a little darker so without further ado let's get to the show uh, what is this huh there he is there's a traitor I don't think crying like that's gonna help. Good girl, fine shot, wasn't it, Reek? Fine shot, master, lady. Oh, he's got a tick. Don't cry. It will be over soon. So pretty now. Okay, I thought Joffrey was twisted. He's plotting his revenge. Life wastes away, and my brother starves himself. I'm not hungry. You lost a hand, not a stomach. <laughs> Try the ball. Cersei conquered enough of it since one killed Robert for her. The proud Lannister children. The dwarf, the cripple, and the mother of madness. Oh, I'll clean it. No, mm. I'll do it. Leave us. You saw the anger when he did that. I can't fight anymore. What about your left? I can hold a sword. All my instincts are wrong. You're the Lord Commander now. Come on. Let others do the fighting. When was the last yeah. time Father used a sword? I'm not. And don't train with a man. You need a proper, discreet swordsman. As yeah. it happens, I have just the one. Poor Brian. Is this place safe? There's this knight, uh, Laygood. Got thunderbolts on his shield? Mm -hmm. Right here is where I fuck his wife. If they don't hear her, they won't hear us. <laughs> I've never seen Valerian steel before. She's a beauty. I love Brian. Problem is... Brian. Braun. If you fight with an edge blade, Ooh. the warrior you are attacking a man when his guard's down. It's time to attack a man. Mind yourself. I still have my right hand. Plan on growing it back. Oh, yeah. This guy. Father, welcome home. Waldo, this is Ramsay Snow, my bastard. A pleasure, mother. Hello. See that the horses are fed, watered. I hear you took a hand from the Kingslayer. Word travels. How he screamed. You would have loved it. <laughs> what did you do to him? I trained him. He was a slow learner, but he learned. You flayed him. Peeled a few bits. Removed a few others. Ruined this was Balin Greyjoy's son and heir. I wanted to trade him for Moat Kalen. I already asked. Lord Greyjoy refused. Savages have you no sent terms to Balin Greyjoy without my consent. You made me acting Lord of the Dreadfort. I acted. Now you know what betrayal's like. I had to smuggle myself into my own lands <laughs> thanks to the Greyjoys. I needed. I needed him whole. Oh, I hope that comes back to bite you in the ass. Raider. How could you let me stand before my father unshaven? It's disrespectful. Sorry, my lord. Give him the razor. Did he say he was a snow? Did I hear that right? Where are Bran and Rickon Stark? I don't know, my lord. You murdered them. No, he didn't. And displayed their corpses at Winterfell. Wait. Did you murder the Stark boy? No, my lord. 
The Starks have always ruled the North. If Bran and Rickon are alive, the country will rally to their side. Now that Rob Stark is gone, I know he was like a brother to you, but my father put a knife through his heart. How do you shaving? Play the part. Jon Snow's at Castle Black. Who the fuck's Jon Snow? Their bastard brother. They could be sheltering them. They may know where they are. Got a quick ass shave. You want to prove yourself a Bolton? Gather whatever men you can and ride for Moat Kalen. Are we gonna see the wedding today? Book? The lives of four kings, Grand Master Keith. History of the reigns of Darren the Young Dragon, Baylor the Blessed, Aegon the Unworthy, and Darren the Good. A book every king should read. One of only two Valyrian steel swords in the capital, Your Grace. Freshly forged in your honor. Oh, careful, Your Grace. <laughs> Nothing cuts like Valyrian steel. So they say. Why is it better? <laughs> Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. Yep. Pretty sure it was his sword. Guessing he ruined a good book. Our friendship. There's a ship waiting in the harbor bound for Pentos. What? You'll have your own cabin, of course. And across the narrow sea, a house. Servants. What is this? Married man. She doesn't want you. I you need don't to do want right by her. her. By our children. Oh. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. You are. I think he's saying you this to get her going. You are afraid of your father and your sister. Sansa is fit to bear my children, and you are not. I can't be in love with a whore. I can't have children with a whore. How many men have you been with? Five hundred? Five thousand? He's trying to save your life. <laughs> oh. Take a breath, Braun. She is crazy. Did you see? Their souls. It was their souls. Our Lord took them, did you see? I ordered him to tear down his idols. He disobeyed. How many ships did he bring to your course? How many men? A good deal more than you. Huh. you Are we doing this again? With our, our larders are almost empty. Serve fish, then. We're on an island. You hate fish. I hate a good many things, but I suffer them all the same. Every mother should fear for her child's soul. She's a stubborn little beast. She's a child. You barely know her. He thinks she's sweet because she smiles when you visit. She is sullen and stubborn and sinful. Are you sleeping, princess? I almost don't understand this storyline anymore. Did you watch the ceremony on the beach? I heard it. And it frightened you? It was much like you. Only it wasn't a princess. And you didn't have this? No. But I suffered another way, sweet girl, believe me. What do you know of the gods? I read the seven-pointed star, and there are no seven heavens, and no seven hells. There's only one hell, princess. The one we live in now. <laughs> oh, that's coming, don't worry. Yeah. Which side was Bran on? Hodor. Spending too much time in summer skin is dangerous. You're not a dire wolf, Bran. Must be glorious, though, to run. You'd forget us, Bran. You'd forget your mother and father. You'd forget your brothers and sisters. You'd forget Winterfell. Oh, no. You'd forget you. And if we lose you, we lose everything. Take me to the tree.
Uh, like the one at their home. Just like it. Who is talking to him? No. <laughs> Who is talking? Oh, so we do get to see a wedding. Okay. Cursed be he who would seek to tear them asunder. With this kiss. I pledge my love. Dude, he feels like a different character. Kinda. Not as heartless. As. You know, he still tore up that book. A bit much, wouldn't you say? It feels proportionate. Proportionate to what? The expected extravagance. People who spend their money on this sort of nonsense tend not to have it for long. You ought to try enjoying something before you die. You might find it suits you. <laughs> not paying she is in charge of you everything. Wish golden roses and half the meat pies to commemorate your generosity. No. Come, Tywin, let us celebrate young love. <laughs> I just love her. She's so great. Legitimately, might be my favorite character in this whole show. I know you don't want to believe it, but she is. Now, go drink until it feels like you did the right thing. He did the right thing. 100% did the right thing. Hello. Might not like it, Hello. but he did it. Perhaps if your pauper husband were to sell his mule and his last pair of shoes, he might be able to afford to bring you to High Garden for a visit. Now that peace <laughs> has come and all is right with the world, it would do you good to see some of it. Very good. Off you go. No, nope, still an asshole. That was wrong. King Joffrey has decreed that the leftovers from our feast be given to the poorest in his city. Oh, you're such a nice king. I wonder who convinced you to do that. They certainly are. Perhaps they should get married. That's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you were to marry Cersei, so she'd murder you in your sleep. If you somehow managed to put a child in her first, she'd murder him too. Shame. At night, the man that put an end to that deviant's life. I just wanted to congratulate you both He's and wish you good loyal. fortune. <laughs> the country has been at war too long. I hope your reign is long and peaceful. Yes. In truth, he rescued me, Your Grace. More than once. Did he? Haven't heard that story before. Not such a fascinating story, I'm afraid. I'm sure you have many fascinating stories. Loving whichever lord or lady you fancy. I don't serve your brother, Your Grace. But you love him. Do you? Deplorable man. He brought shame on the Citadel with his repugnant experiments. More repugnant than your gnarled fingers on that girl's thighs. Your Grace, I am a man of learning. My little brother had you sent to the Black Cells when you annoyed him. What do you think I could do to you? Leave this wedding right now, go to the kitchens, and instruct them that all the leftovers from the feast will be brought to the kennels. Your Grace, a queen, a Marjorie. The queen said they were is to be... telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. <laughs> Here we go. Split camp. Uh oh, that's gonna be a problem. Gosh, she is just a bitch. I don't believe you have met Ilaria. This is the Lord Han, Tywin Lannister, and Cersei Lannister, the Queen Regent. I suppose it is former Queen Regent now. Lord Han, Lady Cersei. We don't despise them in Dorne. No, how tolerant of you. I expect it is a relief, Lady Cersei, giving up your regal responsibilities. Wearing the crown for so many years must have left your neck a bit crooked. What a fortunate thing for you, former Queen Regent, that your daughter Marcella has been sent to live in the latter sort of place. <laughs> Everyone, silence! <laughs> Is that going to be Clear the next the war? King Joffrey!
God, I hate him so much. <laughs> Pay each of them 20 gold when this is done. Yes, my lord. I'll have to find another way to thank the king. I don't see that many people laughing. Uncle, how about you? I'm, I'm sure they have a spare costume. I knew he was going to. One taste of combat was enough for me, Your Grace. Climb down from the high table with your new Valerian sword and show everyone how a true king wins his throne. Be careful, though. This one is clearly mad with lust. Damn. Ho, ho, ho. He's going to pour it on his head, isn't he? Uncle. You can be my cupbearer. Seeing as you're too cowardly to fight. Your grace does me a great honor. It's not meant as an honor. He's a psycho. Great king you guys got there. Bring me my goblet. At least someone has a balls to stand up to him. Cup. Feel it. <laughs> God, I hope he gets his head cut off in a war. At least someone has the nuts to stand up to him. Where are you going? You're my cup there, remember? I thought I might change out of these wet clothes, Your Grace. No, 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 no. You're perfect the way you are. <laughs> Serve me my one. Oh. Mm, good. Knees washing down. <laughs> if it please Your Grace, Lady Sansa is no. very tired. <clears throat> no. The wait here. <coughs> Your grace. <coughs> it's nothing. Has he got something stuck in his throat? Joffrey! Joffrey! Come with me now. Joffrey! He isn't choking, is he? Joffrey! There is no way they're gonna think he did it. There's no way. He literally grabbed a cup. Good, you know what? That's what you deserve, you little prick. Most violent, horrible death. You did this. She really is gonna think he did it. Poison my son. How? Your king. Take him! How does she even think that? Okay, well, there's a heck of an ending, but you know what? I, I got, I got some gripes there at the end. All right, there were a lot of budding heads. I think, I think we spent like almost twenty minutes on the wedding. I don't understand how Cersei can even think he did it. My own eyes. I watched him. Grab wine from her table, pour it, hand it to him. Go grab the cup again, just grab it and hand it to him. How could she even think he had time to put something in there? I know it wasn't him. There's no way. But I mean, we're watching from the fourth wall. I just don't know how she could think that. Of all the things. It'd be really interesting to see who. Who, um, I guess who they find out who, who did it, but damn, man, 
Joffrey is actually dead. <laughs> this is going to get bananas. So who becomes... Does, does dad take over? Does Cersei try taking over again? Does the, the eldest son take over? The next eldest son take over? What happens? Who takes over? I guess we'll find out as the season goes along. It looks like Jamie's learning how to fight with his left hand with Braun. Don't know how that's going to go now since, you know, apparently Tyrion's a traitor, apparently, according to her. What else happened? Yeah, we didn't see a whole lot. I uh, can't remember his name. Did, in the Ironborn kid. Too many T's. He, I think, isn't as broke as he looks in his acting. I think he's plotting to do something serious to that family. I, I just, my own personal thoughts, I could be way wrong. Maybe he is completely broken, but it just looks like from the way he was acting in that chamber, it's just his face. It, it looked like he's, he's not broken yet. He's just playing along at this point. At this point. Um, the Boltons are twisted. At least the, the bastard son. I could have swore he said snow. So who knows? We'll see. But uh, interesting episode. Interesting episode. Second wedding in four episodes ended with a death of a king. So I don't know what R.R. R. R. Martin <laughs> is doing, but um, that's, that's bananas that he ends two weddings like this. So. I just want to leave it. Hope you guys like this reaction. I'm a little bit shook. I need to rewatch and an edit to process this one. So the evil king is finally dead. See where it goes this season. Um, everyone says it's a badass season, so I guess we'll see. But like, share, subscribe. Find me on Discord. Comment below. Until next time, take care.